Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is your Shirley back with another video, and today we're gonna be doing some crunch off flame, but it won't be your typical crunch build. We're gonna be trying to see if we can slot and mega cost him in this build. So, for those who do not know, crunch is one of the few heroes in the game that has like this um hyper scaling where he can both scale our physical power and magical power for his abilities. So, this means that as an offlaner, you know, he has a very interesting build diversity. You can go on him if you want to, of course. I think that the end of the day um building physical power is the most efficient way to build him but that doesn't mean that you can um not take advantage of some of the really cool magical items you can go on him so we're going to be trying to see if we can build both melee and mega cops together because both of them do bonus damage based on hp so we can co combine that and have a very high sustained kind of damage build that they, it'll be kind of fun to try it out so I'm going to Titan's Quest because this is kind of a build where you're going to be very fragile with melee and mega costume. So I'm trying to run out a little bit more with Titan's Quest right here. And after mega costume and uh, melee, that's when we want to try to tech into um, more like actual defensive items. So let's like, say like the Overload um, kind of thing or um, Salvation, Wayman, like all the HP stat sticks essentially I'm trying to think of building on um, Quench right here. I think if you really want to build this the most efficient way possible, then you do like make custom third and do like maybe like a more HP item second. But um, I want to try to get take advantage of the make custom as quickly as I can. So that's why we're going to be going straight into a second. But we still build merely first of course. That's one of the best items to go on the crunch, and we can kind of get some of that early sustain with the army clamp item. So I'm fine with her shoving this out like this because I don't want this wave to get too um, close to the um, west side start because that's a faint mouth jungle, he's gonna do a whip up 100% but now that the wave pushed right here, it's gonna be closer to my turn making it harder for the faint mouth to come up and gank us I would say Okay, using the E, we just kind of walk out of it Oh wow, okay. Since I'm Quench, I do a lot more damage to my R attacks than the Shin B, so we just win that pretty easy. So Shin B's getting pretty low, it's very tempting to go on her to try and finish off, but I gotta realize that Feymao might be looking, but I'm actually very healthy still, so probably I don't have to worry about it at all. I feel like Shimmy is going for the river buff. Oh, she's trying to do it back in the river. There's no reason for her to kind of just leave lane like that. So I'll just like to shove this end and punish her for rotating over. And we see the same out on that um left river buff. So I'll just shove that shove that out really quick. I think it should crash, and that gives me enough time to go for this um two buff really quickly. Yeah, I guess Shimmy actually just back back. So yeah, she has an item. Love to see it. <laughs> I just realized this Kira has a um, very interesting name, which is just all bombs right there. So, kind of curious how she was able to get that name in game, but that's that's actually probably hilarious if I do say so myself. Right, so we got Saber. Um, so we won't just want to match her back, right? Because if she back, I'm kind of don't have the most health and mana to actually get two aggro on her. So by me resetting, I can go get my HP back. I got more damage, so I'll be able to go back to bowling this Shinbi once again. Double the CS, yes, so we're doing good in the CS department. Just need to try to catch up on levels. But I think I missed some minions right there. Oh shit, well, I didn't actually see my shimmy right there. I got a little too focused on CSing right there. But that was a very good punch by her because um, she shrunk it pretty good. So I should be in a very um, good spot against this um, shimmy because yeah, that's a potion just pop. I would have to look to actually go on her.
Is she actually backing off already? She is. Alright, so that means we're gonna be shoving this in because if we can get to crash in the toe in, that's more CS she is missing right there, ladies and gents. I messed up my CS right there. But it's A-OK. -okay. Um, I don't think the Mogish went for the left. Okay, now she is. So actually, I can stay a little bit longer because I'm doing healthy in terms of health and mana. And my me staying, I can still kind of um build up my CS and gold lead. Because if I try to back off, I'll be missing this wave and I won't be really getting an advantage against the Shimmy, right? Oh, I'm not doing great on the CS, I just need to warm up a little bit more so I can see us a lot more properly. Oh, missed my E right there. I'm gonna see if I can hit 6 before sh she does, because if we hit 6 before her, then... Uh... Oh yeah, you definitely don't want to walk up like that. But I got a nice trade right there. I hit 6 on this wave, so that's when I'm gonna actually look to just all in on her. And she blinks, so that's a very solid bling we got Alpha because we stay got the level 6 advantage right there. It's very tempting for me to blink after her because she her dash is gone. I can maybe finish off, but I'm a little bit low on the mana. Plus, don't necessarily have to like um, force it blink. I can hold it on so I can use it for when I actually need to like escape. Right now, I'm trying to don't want like grief for kills necessarily. Okay, we got that shot in. So she has six. I'm gonna see if to do the tear puff really quickly. See if she walks over or not. Like I'm just gonna look forced to like fight her. Uh, okay. There's the female. So that's the one thing I was worried about. I unfortunately went out mana, so I tried to bait the Shimbi into fighting me, but unfortunately the female was actually in the area, so a little oopsie by me, but um this is sort of just a way for me to extend this game because I try to get some games out but they're all like really short. So by me hopefully getting the kill to the fame out like that, they're more inclined to keep playing. That's what we love to see. We love to see longer games, 100 percent And we're still gonna do really good against the Shimmy, just um it won't be as like dominant as I would like per se, but um definitely once we get mute online, we're gonna be doing quite fine. So Shimmy just back right there, so I'll just shove this lane in because I don't want to like sit right in the middle lane neutral. And Feynman just did his 2 camp by the looks of it. Let me get down the timers. So let's see. So she's actually at a huge item disadvantage because she only got the stave. That's actually interesting. That's a time spread shouldn't be. I just realized um that was the case. Mm. My E doesn't reach that unfortunately. So this is like the annoying thing about the Shimmy in this kind of matchup. She's gonna be just constantly using Q from afar. So it's gonna be really hard to actually trade with her how we want to. Because yeah, she's on to be our melee, and she can just keep spamming um here for days. So we need to try to find an opportunity, to, like right here, to trade with her. Cause that's the favorite chunky trade. Pema shouldn't be on the be on the side. Yep. So she's very low. Um, I might honestly tower dive her because she has no dash, she has no bling. So I might just go for it. Yep, clean tower dive. Not sure where the mug is at, so I might have to actually back up all the way. Your skill rises. Yeah, I really want to shove that wave out. I think I, I want to shove this wave out. I need the a little bit more gold to hit my meal later off this back. I don't know if it's enough, but I may steal my super camp on the blue side, so. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the shipper cam. But I really need to like get my me later online ASAP.
Oh, come on. There we go. I'm with my two, but by, by me doing this, I'm able to get my Mueller instead of me being seen on these like two items right here. So this is going to be a very nice power spike for me. I should be able to sustain better and also be able to do a lot more damage. This should be 100%. Uh, so where's the fame out? Oh, he, he doesn't quite have his first item yet. So if he ganks us, maybe we can probably too. But it's going to be kind of tricky still at the end of the day. And she still hasn't reached her Mega Cosm item, so that's very good info for us. That's oh. in left lane. There's a Shinbi. Okay. We got a dash out because I can just dash onto it again with my um B dash. Uh, she blinked out last second. Mm, we were so close, like. If, the Shin, if we kill the Shinmi, she didn't have a blink, we actually kill her and we can 1v1 the fame out afterwards. But the fact that Shinmi lived to like full ult us and we're just not able to live right there. So that is so unfortunate. We almost won that, but there's only so much we can do in the 1v2 situation at this point, right? But that means we can we can hold our own against fame out no problem at all. Like it's just we can't take the 1v2 like that. So we're still doing very, very good. It's just, um, we just need to see if we can finish off the shimmy next time or try to like, um, space it out better. But it's definitely, that's good for info that, um, Fame Out is right there because my team just took the Fainters right there and the Fame Out is dead. So that's huge, ladies and gents. That's a good thing about having so much pressure on the left lane is that if you have so much pressure on the left lane, then the jungler has to deal with you. And as soon as he shows face on the minimap like that, that just means your team just go for the fainters like that for free. So a very good call out by my team to do that, 100%. Okay, so yeah, until the shimmy is there, we can like actually kill um push into tower because you can clear our way pretty fast that's like the really main strength of the um actually this smoker is going for the river buff is she strong she's not uh don't have the range uh maybe i shouldn't left because shimmy might be able to take my tower right there because i was trying to see maybe there's a great opportunity to kill the mortgage but the mortgage actually spaced that really well she puts in that exactly how she needed to, so she wouldn't get caught out by me. So I actually missed my wave for no reason because of that. Ready. I wonder if we can actually um, kill this Shimmy before... Yep. Because like th that's probably about the only time I can kill the Shimmy. That she's like on the tier buff. And she's not like trying to um, run away from me like that. That's the only way I can kill her. If I try to engage on her from afar, I can't really kill her. But if I get on top of her without using my RMB, that's when I can actually chase her down. It's kind of like the counter play you have to do against Shinmi. You have to try to find a way to get on top of her without using your mobility tool. That's huge. The only reason why I engaged that by the way is because I saw Morgus blink. I would not blink like that if I knew the if I didn't know if Morgus had blink or not still. That means that we can actually take down the T1 mid, that's actually huge. Cause I, I know the fame mouse coming right there, right? We just walk out together, I think. Yeah, I just walk out together. All nice and good. Nice. So Shimmy is pushing left, so she might be able to grab the tower. I'll still stay to get the some of the wave at the very least.
So Shinbeats looks like she just kind of left, so I'm kind of inclined to um, push off this way before I reset them, kind of max my gold gain. I probably won't use my RMB because I do realize I'm very low on the mana side. Actually, I can use one Q and that's it. Mm, I can't really do that. Can be trying to have me go on the mini prime, but I'm like really oom. Um. Because if, if they kind of contest us a mini prime and I have no mana at all, then that's a fight that we sh that's a fight we should win at full uh, mana, but if I have no mana then they actually win that hard, right? So they actually back off because the fame out was hovering, so it's good to kinda get off that and not really force it 50 50, right? So now I'm I'm back, I'm healthy, I can now kinda fight if she wants to go back on the mini prime, right? Shinbi is going um, life binder, so we probably have to go pain bash in third then. Because that's the third item in this build is when we want to actually start building um, tanky. And we want to build tanky and kind of count the life steal that this um, other Shinbi is getting. Oh, Shinbi is actually not here. This is actually a good opportunity for us to knock down this tower before she can even clear this wave. See if I can, yeah, scale her off. Now we can go for me prime if the shim my shimmy wants to. Cause got the wave shove in. Actually, looks like we might have to go to faint twos. A lot of low people right here. I'm gonna grab this move speed. Hmm. Oh, I didn't mean to use my E right there. That's actually so bad. I would be able to kill. Come on, being the sick. Yeah, we got the steal. So now we can go on the fainters because um, Feymar has to bat because he was like no HP right there. So we just kind of bust this down really quickly before the Feymar uh, has a chance to even come and contest this. There we go. Oh, that's a very good Q knock up by by the wall. I think we back off. Felica has no mana to fight. And our jungle is dead, so yeah, we just don't fight that. I might I'll probably still stay and catch the mid wave. Oh wow, I didn't have enough damage to kill me. Mortgage has yeah. Mortgage was actually still hovering, that's so unlucky. Because um, I thought the mortgage was gonna like kind of follow the um, what was going on in the river, but she actually did not. So that's actually my bad. I died right there. We're just kind of like really squishy, like I said, because of this build we're going. But soon, now that we're building Pain Bastion, we should be a lot more tankier. And we got Mega Costume online, so we're gonna get some proper showcase of the Mega Costume Melee combo right here in a sec. And so we're gonna have plenty of playing damage with these two items now we can just build more like tank because these items are strongest when you can pocket multiple multiple attacks and fights and i really like assassin items if that makes sense They're more like sustained fighting items so go tank bastion maybe go tank and guard as a force item because that's just a really strong combo together so get plenty of physical and magical armor And then last item, maybe go Overlord so we can take advantage of the bonus HP scaling we have. Just kind of do some really wacky fun punch build right here, guys. One of the two up is up. It's not. So I won't actually push in because I need to get some wars down in the jungle. Yeah, see Fame Mouse right there. He doesn't beat me by the way. Not by himself. So Yeah, no, that's not even close. I don't think I have to blink for the I probably have to blink now for this. 
Oh, I didn't see my shimmy coming over. So yeah, I didn't need a blink right there, but I'm starting dominance for that kill right there. Love to see you guys. Uh, not sure where the mug is just at. Is she coming around to defend? Maybe we can just put down the turns. Oh, maybe tower dive for her. We get a nice Velika kill. Nice job. Um, I think we back off. We back off. Shimmy has nothing to really um do much with. Let's all kind of very come back very healthy. So there's no reason to fight. So let me see what we need. I think Belica is coming over to grab the middle wave. So I'll have to do that. I'm actually gonna go take some of these camps really quick. So take a reset right here, so I'm getting a little bit lower on the mana side of things. And then we can go match the split pushing that sh the Shinbi is doing right now. Oh, the one is popping up, we love to see that, always. Popping up like an ass at bomb, no pun intended. <laughs> I, I still can't get over the fact that I can. You just, her whole name is just um, emojis. We just won them down by we we have to... Yep, as soon as long as you're able to get on the shimmy, you can just kill it really, really easily as Blunge. Doesn't matter if I'm building a more mean build with Mega Cosm, I can still kill you as soon as I get on top of you. Ain't too bits coming up, so um, let me push out one more wave, then I should reset to go for it. Because I don't know if I can go for inhibitor push because I'm not the only one pushing on the main map. It's actually kind of risky for me to push. I might actually still run around though because Modox was pushing right there. Let me see if I can just grab the left river buff. Unless the Modox actually take that first. No, he didn't. Very nice stuff. We just have map control, so we're just able to like just go for the paint instantly. The favorite good stuff by my team. Love to see it. They are fighting right now. So I'll, I'll hover the keyword 100%. Oh, I'm gonna go right back because she'll be just split pushing. Someone has to answer her, and that someone will be me just because, um,. Call. It's because my team is doing actually very good without me, and so I should just put match the shimmy split pushing for now. Love to see it, love to see it. Shimmy is missing. I think she might go for my Bella. Oh, almost one HP. That's wow, that's really close and very unfortunate for my Bella. So since Shimbi's over there and Mokish is definitely back off all the way, what I might do is... Oh, only Mokish is alive. That's huge. This might be a push for Inhibitor potentially. Because my team might be still pushing on the right side. Yeah, they're healthy enough. So they have to answer my team split, split push on the right side, but I'm also split pushing left. So they need to send at least one person on the left side or else I can go for the Inhibitor. I think that's almost all of them. There might be one person still. But it's gonna be the GG's right there. Wow. Really unfortunate. I feel like our build was just starting to come online. Cause like obviously going melee mid comes in like I said. You're very very squishy. So this build starts to pop off as soon as you become really tanky. And you're just constantly proccing your like um, HP kind of passives on the two items. So wow. A little unfortunate but... Let's see, I'm pretty about the numbers. Nothing too crazy in 18,000. 
Um, so all the magic damage we're doing is purely from Mega Cosm, I think, because even though I have magical scaling on my abilities, uh, my, my damage output on my abilities still comes out physical. So this 1500 is purely from like Mega Cosm like ticks right there. So very, very interesting. Um, yeah, nothing too crazy for the stats. Um, because like my kill is just really popping up, so she's able to kind of farm up um, damage, but without her kind of in the game, then it's just me and Mogish being topping the damage shot. So we still do very decent damage, all things considered, right there. So, mm. because what I was thinking is, um, because like the thing is, like, this is just a really fun build, like I said, it's not like the gonna be the most competitive build, I would say. Because, like, the big thing is you try and just abuse the fact that every time you do ability damage, you're parking this, this, um, this passive right here, and then you occasionally get the animatics right there. So, you combine that with Neo later, and you pretty much can really, like, wheel down people, including tanks. So, if I was against, like, the Sevark of Steel, by doing both melee and Mega Cosm, I can actually shred through a tank really fast, surprising enough with this build, right? And so, like like you guys were seeing me uh, build, I was going like uh, more tanky items, like Tame Bastion, I was going to doing Tame the Guard, la um, fourth item, and then my last item, probably do something like Overload, just because, um, don't need for the cleave, but I think it would be more funny that this is more a ability based kind of build, with, especially with Mega Cops and my figure. I can take advantage of the bonus HP I'm building with like my arms and plus my Sandfire's mental. So by having more fit wild physical power, that means that my build should technically hurt even more, right? But I don't know, maybe you can do something even more interesting and go Overload and World Breaker together because both Overload and World Breaker are their respective um, damage sticks for comparing HP to magical physical power. So you can do something even more funny and that is Mutilator, um, Mega Cosm, Overload and World Breaker for the back-to-back -back double magical and um, physical kind of scaling build. I don't know. This is just a really kind of funny kind of meme kind of build that you guys can um, try out if you guys are feeling a little spicy on the crunch. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know down in the comments whether he was for the builds you want me to showcase. Thank you as always for all the amazing support and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.